What is up my fellow beasts? Welcome back to another juicy Call of Duty video with your boy the Spartan Beast. I'm gonna give you guys my uh, review of this uh, beta and don't don't get fooled. This is 90% of the game right here. This is not just a beta. By playing the beta you can judge how the game is gonna play. Okay, because this is a copy paste of Modern Warfare as you guys know and unfortunately if they follow the line of Modern Warfare they're not going to fix anything. They shoot at, this is a joke, Sledgehammer made, the, their last Call of Duty game was World War II, a biblical Call of Duty game and instead of, you know, making a game like that... No, this game is nothing like World War II. This game is a copy-paste of modern Dorfir, a.k.a. modern Claymore, a.k.a. modern Safe Space. I just, I, I cannot believe that they decided it was a good idea to copy pretty much all the trash from modern Dorfir. So, I'm gonna give you guys my PlayStation 4 experience playing the Van Trash beta. And, uh, oh man, it wasn't, you know, you know what, it wasn't a very good experience for the most part you know it all started after i installed van trash so i installed van trash and out of nowhere my playstation 4 went so loud i thought there was an airplane you know just falling about to hit my house and i was just gonna get, i was just gonna go like that okay even before playing van trash my playstation 4 when i when i click on the van trash beta it just does so much noise it sounds like a like a like a, a train or something it's like you know when you have a disease an infection or whatever you and your body's fighting that thing out the playstation quad is trying to fight the van trash beta out because it's a disease so that was like the first thing i noticed that you know it wasn't a good sign about the van trash beta my playstation every time i play it my playstation 4 it's about to explode my playstation is about to explode yo is everything okay over there listen to that then we have the blue screen of death at first, I got so many blue screens of death. So many gameplays were ruined. It was absolutely disgusting. Lately, I haven't seen the blue screen of death. I don't know about you guys, but on the first two days, oh my god, every four games, I couldn't finish a damn game because I would get that, boom, blue screen of death. Then we have the lag. Oh my god. The lag is crazy on the PlayStation 4. Don't know what it is, but... Uh, I don't know where the frame rate just drops, you know, I don't know what it is, but you can't move, everything stops around you, you feel like you're in a Matrix movie, it is absolutely disgusting, it's a joke, this game plays like this, you might say, oh, the PlayStation 4 is old, no, this game is on the same console of Battlefield Uno, Battlefield 5, and even Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare has the most disgusting gameplay of all time, but in terms of performance, it just plays great. And uh, then we also have, ladies and gentlemen, the parent. Then we have the blue screen of death. At first, I got so many blue screens of death. So many gameplays were ruined. It was absolutely disgusting. Lately, I haven't seen the blue screen of death. I don't know about you guys, but on the first two days, oh my god, every four games, I couldn't finish a damn game because I would get that, boom, blue screen of death. Then we have the lag. Oh my god. The lag is crazy on the PlayStation 4. Don't know what it is, but uh, I don't know where the frame rate just drops. You know, I don't know what it is, but you can't move. Everything stops around you. You feel like you're in a Matrix movie. It is absolutely disgusting. It's a joke. This game plays like this. You might say, oh, the PlayStation 4 is old. No, this game is on the same console of Battlefield Uno, Battlefield 5. And even Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare has the most disgusting gameplay of all time. But in terms of performance, it just plays great. And uh, then we also have, ladies and gentlemen, the paranormal activity. You know, this is kind of related to lag, but out of nowhere, you know, things start missing. You know, trees appear and re reappear. Vehicles disappear and everything gets pixelated around you. You feel like you're in a Ghostbusters movie. But I ain't afraid of no ghosts, so I never back out. I always keep 
playing even with all the lag and all the crazy paranormal activity going on i have never seen that in a quality game i had to i had to wait until modern until van modern van trash feels like a copy of modern warfare to witness ah, such well, thing yeah. in call of duty <laughs> then you also have the trash sound what is this trash sound man the gun sound is the most disgusting thing of all time i am okay with having no footstep sound because i hate the footstep sound i hate sound whoring nerds okay with their super expensive headsets i am super happy right now that all the nerds are mad because their expensive headsets are as valuable playing van trash as a two dollar headset you know that little jimmy uses okay but i am not cool with a guy two meters behind me with an mp40 without silencer going full auto killing everybody and i don't hear anything i cannot hear anything most of the time and finally the last thing i want to mention in terms of performance i'm not even talking about gameplay yet okay this is just performance i don't know what you want to call it the hackers how i have never seen hackers in a beta of call of duty we already have hackers in the van trash beta that's how good this thing is but as i said these are like technical issues whatever that will be solved hopefully hopefully we're talking about sledgeham we never know when the game comes out then we have the gameplay problems the things that piss me off there are many if i was going to talk about all the gameplay problems this game has i'll be here for like an hour or so talking about it but i'm just going to talk about four things ladies and gentlemen four things that are pissing me off thing numero uno no reward for playing the objective who had the brilliant idea who thought that it was a good idea to not reward people for playing the objective every game in domination that starts no one literally no one unless you're a little jimmy runs for the home flag everyone else just you know rushes straight to the middle to get those juicy kills because no one cares about hopping on a damn flag there is no reward for playing the objective don't know how that benefits the game not rewarding people for going on flags and capturing them i don't know how that's a good change uh you know that's a change we had in modern warfare unless they have a perk that transforms kill streaks into score streaks but you know still it's you know having to use a perk to get rewarded for playing the objective if that's the case that's like another dumb idea uh from sledgehammer uh, this is trash. No one plays the objective. I mean, look at this. This uh, look at the on the screen right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, an image from a game I play in Quality Ghost. It's usually like this. I got 22 captures in in Van Trash. If people get five captures in a game, that's a miracle. Because as I said, there's no reward for playing the objective in Quality Ghost. I get captures nonstop because I'm constantly constantly getting rewarded for playing the objective. So this is the thing numero uno that really pisses me off though I would like Sledgehammer to explain why they decided to change this the score streaks in Call of Duty World War 2 were great You played the objective. You got a lot of score. It was fun. Everyone played the objective I would like them to explain why this is a good thing and then we have the time to kill the time to kill is Way too fast. It's nothing like Call of Duty World War 2. It's obviously a copy paste from modern Dorfer uh, uh, obviously the time to kill promotes camping because look man it's impossible to rush in this game the enemy sees you you are done you have no time to shoot you are dead you have the the health of a toothpick we've seen this in call of duty uh modern uh, claymore and uh we're gonna have another year of this it's a joke camping is the way to go not gonna lie i have more fun when i'm camping in this game than when i am trying to rush because when i'm trying to rush i die a lot and uh it's boring there's look this is crazy there's even a perk that gives you more health while you are crouching or while you are uh while you have your gun mounted on a surface don't know how don't know why that's a good idea to have a perk like that but obviously it promotes camping and then we have no red dots on the minimap another thing they copied from modern dwarfer another thing that makes the you know that reward scampers because they never appear on the radar okay so obviously 
I mean, this promotes more camping, even with the perk radar, you know, you still have the, you know, the perk radar turns the minimap into a normal minimap, so you have to use a perk to have a normal minimap. The don't know why this was a good idea to change the minimap. No one asked them to change the minimap. No one asked them to have score to have kill streaks instead of score streaks. I mean, they should just use point streaks. Point streaks are the same thing as kill streaks, but better because you get rewarded for playing the objective. So yeah, uh, even if you still use the perk radar, even if you use the perk radar, you still have the silencer that hides you from the minimap, and you have the subsonic ammo that also hides you from the minimap, and then you also have the counter. The counter UAV that lasts for over a minute. Again, don't know why that was a good idea. Don't know who had that brilliant idea. And since you can have 10 attachments on your gun, you can bet that everyone is going to be using those two attachments. And usually there's no one on the minimap. Now you can see, now you can still see people on the minimap. But two months, one month, two months after, two, yeah, a month after the game's out, you will see no one on the minimap because everyone is going to be running those things. And finally, I'm just going to complain about sliding. Sliding. Sliding in a World War II game is disgusting. Or, like, people move so fast in this game, it's, you know, the, the gunfights are really annoying, the slide cancelling is really annoying. Sliding in a World War II game looks disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. It shouldn't exist, but you know that since they copied Modern Warfare, obviously we're going to get sliding instead of the dolphin dive from World War II. But what is this? Why do people move so fast? How can they slide all over the place? Wouldn't that hurt their knees? Are these were the soldiers in World War II so Super, super soldiers why are people moving so fast in this game i don't like it i prefer the dolphin knife but ladies and gentlemen that's my opinion on the event trash beta i think it's trash and in my opinion it's the worst call of duty of all time i'll see you guys next time peace out